Cocktails don't always have to be serious. Sometimes they can be fun, like the grasshopper, for instance. Welcome to the Cocktail Spirit from Small Screen Network. I'm your host, Robert Hess. In these days of craft cocktails and rediscovering some of the old, obscure drinks of the past, there are certain drinks that don't get as much love as others. The grasshopper is one of those. It may not have the, the nuances of flavor. It may not have those weird bitters or that obscure ingredient you've got to find someplace. But still, I think it's a drink that shows some important aspects of cocktails. If nothing else, it's a drink you can have fun with. One of the things I find interesting about the grasshopper is supposedly its history. Now, it is believed the grasshopper was invented by Philbert Goucher from Tujac's restaurant in New Orleans. Uh, the time was right around Prohibition, and it was submitted to a cocktail contest in New York, and it came in second place. What's interesting is that it is believed this cocktail competition happened in 1928, which is during Prohibition. So if a cocktail competition in New York during Prohibition, that I think is interesting. Now, there are some stories that claim that cocktail competition happened in 1919 instead, which is right before Prohibition. Uh, however, one of the judges that is talked about being at this particular competition is Walter Winchell. Now, Walter Winchell's career didn't really get started until 1920, so he really wouldn't have been on the radar to be brought into the competition other than happening after Prohibition started. So I think 1928 sounds like a better uh, date for it. And so the drink itself now has a little bit more of appeal because it was invented and created during Prohibition, one of the few cocktails that we can say that about, and it came in second place in some competition in New York. Let's take a look at it. It's relatively easy to make. Uh, we basically got three ingredients and equal parts of each. Uh, we have green cream de mint which is going to bring the green grasshopper color to it. And we're going to have one ounce of that. Flavor-wise, of course, you could use white cream de mint, um, but it wouldn't look the same. Uh, white cream de mint tastes the same, but it wouldn't look. Then we add an ounce of white cream de cacao. Again, you could use brown cream de cacao. There are two problems with that. One is the brown would make the drink look kind of weird. And the other is actually brown cream de cacao is made slightly differently than white. And so the tastes are slightly different. And lastly, we add the cream and an ounce of that. I suppose you could use a low fat, non fat cream, but um, what's the point? So we're doing a full fat drink, lots of things in it. It's a dessert style drink. Now we're going to shake it up really hard. Anytime you add cream to a drink, especially if you think it should be kind of foamy and rich, you want to make sure you shake it up a little bit longer than normal just to kind of try to foam it up. So the rich green color is obviously coming from the green cream de mint. It uh, doesn't really look like a grasshopper. Hopefully it doesn't taste like one either. Definitely smells like candy. Tastes like nice chocolate mints, those little mint candies you get sometimes. Um, again, it's not, a, it's not a serious cocktail, but cocktails aren't always about being serious. Sometimes they're about having fun. And I think this is a very fun drink. I think you should try a grasshopper the next time you're looking for a good dessert drink. Mm -hmm.